Hey guys, so we get a very interesting piece of news and the piece of news is actually at the bottom. The person who posted it worked in customer service for Magic the Gathering Online and then went on to delete the last paragraph. In conclusion, I'm sorry to rant to you fine folks here, but I felt like you deserved a heads up. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to leave you all with a little sp- Wizard of the Coast has no intentions of bringing MTG Arena over to mobile. Rather, they are currently working on a mobile MTG-based game for iOS and Android that is codenamed Project Blitz. The game is currently in the employees only alpha state of development. So if MTG Arena does not become a mobile game, and it will only be on, I assume, PC, uh, that they're not going to port it over to Mac, and the mobile game would be totally separate. That is fascinating information. Now, who, who is who is providing this information? It's someone who was recently fired, or they believe they are, but really just the contract ran out. He actually is not a Wizard of the Coast employee. He is a vendor. So Wizard of the Coast outsources its support to a company called Productivity Associates Inc. And which I and the rest of the orcs work for. Um, Orc being a online response crew. So they're the people who, if you got kicked out or you've lost something, they help you get uh, your prizes back. On Wednesday of last week, Wizards of the Coast decided to abruptly end their contract with PAI. And the majority of the team was laid off with no warning. Now, as someone who has dealt with contracts before, there is no abrupt ending to a contract. The contract will have penalties should you end it before. Just like a cell phone contract, right? You don't abruptly end your cell phone contract before the due date. You can, but you're going to be penalized to oblivion. So the same would be here. I think what happened was the guy is a little bit... You see how this is his post? But he deleted the uh, part because... He actually made a mistake. He probably signed, or his company at least, signed a non-disclosure agreement, at NDA, which is very common here. And whether or not we can trust that evidence is his behavior. The fact that he immediately deleted it and you had about 10 minutes to screenshot it, which is also really relevant in this case, tells me that actually he's correct. The mobile version, well, first of all, Magic Online, Magic the Gathering Online sucks. And I'm not surprised at all that they are going with a cheaper source and these people have been laid off because you work for a program that will no longer exist in two months, not two months, two years from now would be my prediction. Everyone is saying the same thing. Uh, Tolarian Community College believes this as well. So essentially, he has been, quote, fired, but really, they just didn't renew the contract. And if you're working this type of job, you will always, um, I mean, it's not nice for me to say, but this is not the most stable job. And when you accept the job, you should know that uh, you can lose your job at any time uh, for any reason. Now... Let's focus on that last part, the mobile game part, because I play a lot. I spend a lot of money on mobile games. Should they have a mobile game, iOS and Android, for Magic the Gathering, and it is not porting from MTG Arena, that's fascinating. Magic the Gathering Planeswalkers uh, did port correctly. So you signed into the same account on your mobile phone, and most mobile games, I will say, port relatively well maybe you have to use an emulator or something like that but um mtg arena being a pc only game kind of makes sense to me uh, because that's why so when you have a ios uh, most mobile games i play on my ios i also play on my ipad my ipad pro and then i can also play on my macbook for instance uh, pokemon tcg player you can play on your ipad or your macbook uh, it's a little too small. I, I never even tried to play on my phone because my phone is a, um, not that big. But I'm, I'm sure that you possibly could. 
Now the beauty of this is you can play anywhere you want. The fact that uh, Magic Arena has to be on a desktop or a laptop or on a PC is actually a big weakness. Um, it's a big weakness because um, given other competitors and given the fact that um, you want people to spend as much time as possible, you want a mobile version of the game. And if that mobile version cannot be MTG Arena, it might be this alpha testing thing that's happening right now, which may explain why iOS has not received anything yet and will not receive anything. And that means the initial investment that people make in MTG Arena, there'll be two different platforms. There'll be the mobile game players and then there'll be the MTG Arena players on PC. That is fascinating. Um, it truly is uh, something that I would advise you to be aware of before you buy or you invest too much in MTG Arena if you want to consider the mobile version. Again, this is coming from a, quote, fired employee of Wizard of the Coast. He considered himself fired, but not really. And he has probably a lot of bias, and he is probably not in a good mood, but at the same time, he did delete it relatively fast. And it is super fascinating to consider that we're getting a new mobile MTG. Which makes sense. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, mobile games like uh, Class of Clans, Her um, I don't know if Hearthstone is mobile, but uh, Class of Can Clans, Pokemon Go, uh, these things have very large player bases because now everyone has a mobile phone. Uh, most people do not want or not uh, a desktop all the time. And being that the desktop has to be a PC, that definitely limits the amount of people. The mobile game being iOS and Android and being different from the PC game from a developer standpoint, yeah, that's what I would do. I would launch a MTG Arena, see if it goes well. Okay, it's going well. Then I would invest all my money into this mobile game because that is the future of gaming. Um, so if you look at League of Legends, the popularity has gone down, but a lot of the mobile game or Overwatch League and all this stuff but uh, in China, at least, which is a huge, huge market, uh, it's mobile games. No one plays PC games. Everyone just plays mobile games. And like Van something, I forget, one of my developers, Austin, he plays this mobile game that's like League of Legends, but it's on an iPad. Uh, it's interesting. Um, you can also play on your phone, but it's like just like League of Legends. Like I was like, oh, so it's the same objectives. But in China, that's a very, very big game. Um, so it's not just the U.S. market that they would be worried about or that they would be interested in. They have to be interested into the international markets as well, Europe, China, Japan. Um, and I think it would be quite fascinating if we do get a mobile game like uh, the two mobile games I really play right now, Fire, Fire Emblem Heroes and Fate Grand Order. They make a ton of money. They are Fire Emblem Heroes, even on a down month, makes about 12 to 14 million dollars a month. So it's at least 150 million a year. But during up months, it makes 20 million sometimes a month. So these mobile games are very fascinating because they can bring it to a totally different market and make it's pretty much a honeypot. Like I can't really, I, there's no other way for me to put it. It's a blanking honeypot. And for them not to explore that option would be very strange. Uh, but it also explains why it hasn't been ported over because it's a totally new game. It's not the same game. It's not MTG Arena. So therefore, I guess we'll have uh, MTG Arena, the whatever remains of Magic the Gathering Online, and then we'll have this new one this new mobile version of Magic. And I'm very excited for the mobile. I don't want to play MTG Arena because I don't own a non-Mac. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I know I can use some blah, blah, blah program to do it, but I'm not going to. I hate Windows. So not going to support Windows or Microsoft. You know how much product, like free stuff, Microsoft tries to give me uh, for Bing? So Bing ads, um, many of you may not know what I do, but I buy media spend over uh, 200000 on Facebook a month and over um, 800 in uh, Google is what I pay these two companies for my clients. 
and I don't spend any on Bing. So Bing always sends me like the crappy stuff. And it's like, I would never wear this t-shirt. I would never wear this hoodie. And I just give it to my employees. <laughs> anyway, I am very interested whether or not this is true. Because if it is true, then yeah, I would spend a bunch of money on a mobile game. Because I love mobile games. Um, I'm on my phone all the time, but I don't want to be on my laptop all the time except to watch movies and stuff like that uh and that's it anyway bye guys